Hello, everybody. This is Detective Piccolo, and I am going to be playing the Payne's Creek Killings today. So last night, I was going through different games to play because I wanted this channel of mine to be a purely detective game type channel. So I'll be playing games like... My last game that I played was The Closing Shift, this time The Payne's Creek Killings, and the... Creators of this game are actually coming out with a new game that's come, like, or I think this year or next year. And I recently just got a demo from them, so I plan to actually put it on the channel, and we'll see what happens with that. I'm really excited to play it. I'm really excited to play this one. I've always been like a really big fan of psychological thrillers and crime stories like this, so. If you want me to make a separate video on the books that I read um, that are psychological thrillers, let me know. And I will go ahead and do that. All right, let's get started. This game seeks to emulate to a certain degree the experience of investigating a murder case. You will need to search each location carefully, find clues to proceed, and use your observation and dedication skills to uncover the hidden secrets. We recommend writing your own notes and or taking advantage of the in-screen ca in game camera. The game auto saves whenever you enter a location. Should you enter a, should you encounter a bug or problem while playing, such as being stuck or getting pushed out of the world, use reload button. Okay, and good luck. Hey, uh, Janet. So the chief has entrusted you with my assignment, hey? I hope it didn't interfere with your weekend plans. Anyway, he uh, told me to call you and fill you in on it. You remember the murder that happened a few years back that was never solved? The one at Payne's Creek where the ex mayors wife was killed? Well, the property's being auctioned off soon, so we don't have much time to dig up anything that's relevant to the case. So see what you can find. Hopefully it'll be something worth publishing. Anyway, take care. I'll see you on Monday. Bye. Okay. The Hartford Times. Who killed Vivian Roberts? August 3rd, 1999. In 1995, Vivian Roberts, a successful businesswoman and wife of a former mayor, was murdered and dragged to the front of her home. The, solve was, the case was never solved and the killer never found. It was rumored that a private investigator was in Payne's Creek later, sometime later. But there's nothing more on that. Last week we received news that large swaths of Payne's Creek County will be auctioned off soon. We would like to revisit this story and attempt to find out what happened. Who killed Virginia Roberts? What was the motive and what was the murder weapon? To submit your findings in a front page for please submit your findings and a front page photograph for your story to be published. Richard Harris, don't forget to bring the camera. Okay. So you will have noticed that I had a game already up. Like there's like the continue and such. So the problem, my last video, um, my son, a show was on, and I was worried that it could be copyright. So what I ended up doing was that I played the game a little bit, and there's my son again. So you may hear him. I will try my best to make this as painless to hear him as me. <laughs> so yeah, you'll hear him in the background. I hope you all don't mind. If you do, let me know in the comments. And then I'll try to find a a place for him to be when I'm making videos. OK. 
Okay, so once we enter the gate, the postal office will be here. And then Hills Hillsdale is here. So when we go down Pebble Lane, the haunting grounds is this way. And then Anne's is here. The cemetery, Payne's Creek, Trinity Church to Old Creek Town, Mayor, Community Hospital, Oliver Photography, Mayor. Farmer's Market. There's something, God, there's got to be something here and here. Because why would that be cut off like that in here? Cool, I have a flashlight. And then Vivian Roberts was found dead, murdered. You can put it on pause if you want to read the whole thing. I read it last time. So anything that... Um, yeah. Hi, this is Steven. I just wanted to make sure the package was sent. Again, I'm currently at Anne's Courtyard. Any extra info you have would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. So the question that I had for Steven is, um, is Steven my friend or is he the sheriff's friend? That's something I didn't find out last gameplay. There we go. Okay. There's a key for the gate. I'm sorry for my son again. E. So this one's a cemetery key. Okay, so six months prior to Vivian's death, Scott was fired from working at the mansion. He cited, she cited Scott for tardy work and rebellious behavior. She also prohibited Scott from visiting the mansion and meeting Trisha, who by then had a close relationship with Scott. So I can see why Scott is their main suspect because he and her had a beef. There's got to be something here that shows me what the numbers are. Three. Three. Five, two. Five? Three, five, two, five? Let's see if that works. Three, five, two, five. Three, five, two, five. So if, if this works, this is going to be further than I got last time. Three, five, two, no. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four. So there's one, two, three, four, five on the first one, so five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five, seven, three, four, five. Five, seven, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, it's not going to work. Ah, uh, I was looking at the leaves. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, that wouldn't work. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna give it a try. Five, seven, three, four. Five, seven, three, four. They may even give it to me later, and I'm gonna be like, well, that was dumb. Five, seven. Nope. All right. 
So this is kind of where I was before with my last video that I tried to make. But with uh, Coco Melon in the background, I was worried about copyright. So that's why you'll notice 1813. You, that's why you would have noticed that there was another, there was like another saved game. So. Okay. I don't know. If any of you have played this, you're probably yelling at me right now. Especially if the code has been revealed already. Three. Three duct tapes. If you hear my son, I'm sorry. My husband's out doing stuff, so... Okay. So this is where I basically ended last time, so... Let me see what time I'm on, and then let's see what time I'm on. Ten minutes. Okay. So let's go ahead and go inside. One, one, three, one. Wait a minute. Cemetery gate padlock. One, one, three, one. Okay, so... Why do I have to get down here in order to make this happen? Nah. Batteries seem new. Okay. Kind of wish the brightness was better on this game, but I'm sure that it's that way for a reason. Close up behind me. Okay, so this was only a tutorial. So, what is this? It's locked. This one's also locked. And locked also. Okay, that one's boarded up. So I'm basically on this road here. So if I keep going up, okay. So this should be the post office. Or no, that's Anne's. So there's the post office. Let's go to Anne's first. Especially since Steven's supposedly here. It's locked. Okay. This is where I meet Steven, hopefully. Untouched bottles of wine. This is kind of freaky. Where is everybody? So this is, re is this really actually abandoned? Roberts Relief Fund, Vivian Roberts. Contact Vivian Roberts, event coordinator. Okay. And then that kid again. Locked out of your own car. 
Okay, the Slim Jim, also known as the lockout tool, is used primarily for breaking into cars. It is a thin strip of metal that is 24 inches. The hooked end of the tool is thin enough to be slipped between the car's door window and the rubber seal, catching the rods that lock into the mechanism. Okay, so we're probably going to have to break into that car. And then there's that one again. Steven's Barber Shop fades. Stevie's. Maybe, is that Steven? And why is that ripped off? This is weird. There's no one to talk to. Story of Tante. Two four two 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 three. I'm just gonna take all the keys. I mean, why not, right? I'm the only one here. And another. Okay, so that means that my battery's gonna run out. Hi, uh, this is Oliver oh. Gibson. I just wanted to. Thank you for letting me borrow your toolbox and shovel. Uh, I'm currently out of town for a few days, and I didn't get the chance to return it yet. <clears throat> in the case you need them, it's currently sitting in my photo lab. Uh, ask Mrs. Patterson for my spare key. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, we have Neil Merrill. I was in 201. Okay. Hi. Uh, this is Oliver Gibson. I just wanted to... Thank you for letting me borrow your toolbox and shovel. Uh, I'm currently out of town for a few days, and I didn't get the chance to return it yet. <clears throat> in the case you need them, it's currently sitting in my photo lab. Uh, ask Mrs. Patterson for my spare key. I'm going to be taking so many notes, guys. Ooh. There we go. Those tool four key. So who has a tool one key? Tool four, tool two. Oh, I see. These are just the safe boxes. I'll have to come back to that. This doesn't work. Here's a key where you suggest that you requested. Seven Pine Road. Pine, Black Pine Road. Okay. Blocked. Okay. I think.
Read. Cafe. Memorize this. You might want to memorize this. Okay. Jeez, that's it. What was that in the toilet? It's frickin' terrifying. Something's going to be wrong in one of these rooms, I just know it. The Holy Bible. Alright, so it's one of these places. feeling this this is gonna be like a Resident Evil game and I don't like it. I really hope that's you, Odin. Stephen M, thank you for your rent payment. As stated in your rent payments, not you must pay additional rent. Okay, so Stephen owed rent. Who's Rosalie P? I get it. This is an apartment, not a hotel. So who's Steven? Why is Steven missing? I 
I'd be more plausible to believe that Steven is the one that killed Vivian. Because he's the one that disappeared. I didn't get any hints from in here. I'm like expecting phasmophobia and like to get scared and out of my wits. I'm expecting like some scary ghost to gosh for sake and eat my face and I don't like it. Okay, so let's go this way now, to the Moon Cafe, and it's locked, okay. Sorry we're closed, okay, so this is 32, so I think what I may do is just go around to the different locations on the map. And then go from there, because the post office should be... So this is Pebble Road, then. Let's go down Pebble Road. Let's see what we find down here. It sounds so innocent. Okay, there's a park. Public air hunting area. Trail closed. Okay, so you cannot go that way then. Huh. seems so innocent. Okay, so here's somebody's house. To-do list. Visit Andrew in the hospital. Grip Chisha, my sp spare key. Check hospital for missing tools. Who lived here? Grip Trisha, my spare key. And that must be Scott's house. Shouldn't go in the water, my equipment will get wet. Okay, so at least I care about that. Well, no alcohol, no drugs, no smoking, no weapons. All right, that's easy. Well, um, kind of unsure where to go from here. I'm at 28 minutes. Uh, next time. Well, let's just head. Because where am I on here? So if I keep going this way. 
I'll reach the hospital. So. Let's end at the hospital. Yeah, let's end at the hospital. So let me get to the hospital and then we'll end it for the day there. Uh, excuse me? Okay, so this is the hospital. All right. So this is where we'll end it for, for today, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video like I did. And sorry for Odin again. This is where we'll end for today. Um. If you liked the video, I'd be very happy if you would put a like on the video, subscribe, um, even download the video. Maybe an awesome thing, especially for someone who's new to YouTube like me. I hope you have a great 4th of July, 4th of July weekend if I don't make another video. Um, if I do make another video, I'll say I'll also happy 4th of July. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.